Hi, I'm Kendra with Where's the Moon Astrology, and today I am talking about sun opposite moon in the birth chart or born under a full moon because the sun opposite the moon um, happens once a month and that is when we have our full moon. Um, the sun opposite the moon is an, a hard aspect. So this means that the sun, the sun and the moon are in opposite signs across from each other in the zodiac and they are representing two different areas of life. So the sun is your conscious will, this is your ego, this is where you are consciously putting your attention, your focus, and your creative drive. The moon, however, that is your instinctual emotional nature, this is your knee-jerk emotional reactions, this is how you behave with people that you are very close to, because the moon is your heart, so you're not going to be showing this to everyone. So the sun ups the moon. This will show a bit of um, cognitive dissonance. And what I mean by that is that the way you are expressing yourself consciously and the way you are expressing your um, unconscious self, that is going to be, they're going to be radically different. Not radically different. I mean, there is some room for compromise here, but it's, it's going to be difficult to make these two work together. And in particular with the opposition, what tends to happen is that because they're opposite each other, um, this can come out in a way that is sort of like projection. So you might experience the energy of the further planet, which in this case would be the sun, um, I mean the moon, not physically more distant, but more distant in the birth chart. So you might be expressing the energy of the moon um, or experiencing the energy of the moon in your chart through other people because you have a difficult time um, recognizing these emotions in yourself because they're directly opposite what you consciously identify with. So you might be expressing your son, um, say your son's in Capricorn, you might be expressing your son in Capricorn on a conscious level, but your moon's in Cancer. And you don't really identify with the traits of moon and Cancer because it's opposite your son in Capricorn. And you would rather identify with these traits. These are the traits that bring you pride. These are the traits that um, you want to consciously express. So you don't particularly identify with the traits of Cancer Moon. So instead, you would be experiencing the energy of Cancer Moon through other people in your life. Um, other people in your life might see how you are, in fact, Cancer Moon, and you express those traits, but you might have a hard time seeing it. And so you either experience it through other people or you tend to project your emotions onto other people. So you might attribute emotions that other people are not having um, to them because that is a part of yourself that you don't particularly identify with, if that makes any sense. Um, now, to be born under the full moon, if you think about the full moon by transit, this happens once a month and it is typically a time when we um, kind of can manifest the intentions that we put into effect under the new moon. That's kind of the time for setting intentions, beginning new things. And the full moon is kind of when we can manifest those things and when we can release things. So for instance, when we have the new moon in Aries, we are kind of setting intentions for goals that have to do with the um, that have to do with where Aries falls in our chart. So we would be kind of setting goals that have to do with, um, you know, independence, drive, entrepreneurship, new beginnings in general, because not only is the new moon conducive to new beginnings, but Aries is the beginning of a zodiac. So we would be kind of putting intentions into effect that have to do with new beginnings, um, new projects, kind of anything that involves this creative burst of energy. And then in the full moon in Libra, um, later on in the month, we would be experiencing um, kind of a release of this Libra energy. So people can act kind of insane under the full moon. And uh, that, you might act a little crazy yourself, uh, sun opposite moon people. But um, during this Libra full moon, you'd be kind of releasing codependency. You'd be releasing reliance on other people because Libra is a sign that's very others oriented. So the full moon is kind of a time to release the energy or the hangups that we have regarding the sign that the full moon is taking place in, if that makes any sense. So sun opposite moon, you can be kind of always releasing your emotions kind of through your life. And that can be kind of where this cognitive dissonance comes from because you can easily 
um, more than others, especially since you're not really consciously identifying with the traits of your emotional nature, you can be constantly releasing your emotions and letting go of your emotions. You can It can be very hard for you to be emotionally driven, which can be which can be a positive thing, but on the other hand, it can be kind of a denial of your emotions, which isn't healthy. You will want to try to identify with the traits of your moon sign as much as you can. Try to make those conscious and bring them into your personality on a conscious level because the opposition requires integration. It's going to require you to um, consciously make this planet work for you since it's not easy for you to work with this energy, being that it's the opposition. And I, under, I, I totally understand the opposition I have, Venus opposite Pluto. Um, you can kind of really disidentify from the planet that is outermost in your birth chart um, with that opposition. So you can be con really disidentifying from your emotions, especially because the sun is so conscious. You wouldn't it would be very hard for you to consciously identify with your emotional nature. So that is going to be really important for you. Um, otherwise, you might be unconsciously led around by your emotions because you're not giving them conscious expression, um, if that makes any sense. So if you think about Jungian psychology, Carl Jung talks a lot about the shadow self and the outermost planet um, in regards to oppositions like this can be part of your shadow. And if you don't acknowledge the shadow, it'll manifest in unconscious ways and can kind of be a backseat driver in your life. So it's just really important for sun opposite moon for, uh, people, especially people born under the full moon. It's going to be really important for you to consciously express the traits of your moon sign in the most positive and healthy ways possible. Um, so again, let's go back to Capricorn, Capricorn and Cancer. Um, if you're a Capricorn sun and you have a Cancer moon, you're going to want to consciously express your Cancerian emotions. So those things that might feel a little over emotional for someone as dry as a Capricorn sun, you're going to want to try to consciously express your more emotional, um, home-centered private self as as often as you can and as directly as you can so if someone upsets you instead of just saying you know i'm cutting you off you know i'm a capricorn sun that's what i do i cut people off and they don't have any control over me <laughs> you want to come to them with this kind of cancerian gentleness and and humility this cancerian emotional edge and Express your feelings as openly as you can. And it can be very difficult. I totally understand that the energy of that opposition is very difficult to embody the outer planet's energy, but it is going to be very important for you so that it is not operating from the shadow, so to speak. Anyway, that is the end of my sun opposite moon video. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I did want to remind you that I do offer uh, chart readings and I offer planetary report readings. So a particular placement in your chart. So again, um, you know, sun or moon, I could do a sun reading or a moon reading, and I'm now changing the format from written readings to video readings. So if you order a reading, you will be receiving a video from me going over this placement in your chart in depth. Um, again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.